Hello, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and the marathon continues. This will probably be the last one since it's a huge box of journals and I do have a lot to do. It is my husband's birthday when he gets home from work. We'll want to do some things. So um, this is from Darlene Carroll. Her journals were definitely loved last time around and I am really excited to share these beauties with you. Here is the first one. Look at that adorable little image and cover. It's fabric covered. There's little metal book corners. Really cute. All right, let's see if I can get into it. There we go. Really cute. Okay, so this is soft cover, spring themed. So there's fabric pocket, places to write, and decoupage, and tags. Lots of space to make it your own but lots of little bits of loveliness and springtime. I think this is a, yeah, it's a pocket. It has an index card. Oh, I see. It's like a little, almost like a little file folder. Put that on there. The cute little uh, ribbon on that clip. That is really pretty. Definitely spring themed and fun. There's a little card and some more ephemera. Lots of pages that you could stencil on, stamp on, glue things on, write on. Lots and lots of room to make it your own. But I love the color scheme she chose, especially the yellows. Oh, look at this. So here's like a hinged tag with some fabric there. I love that. I think I've seen Tracy Fox or Wendy do something like that. Maybe both of them, I'm not sure. There's a really pretty tag. Some tags in the back here, little bits of ephemera, just stick them in that pocket. So this is the spring journal one. All right, let's see what else is in this box. It looks like we have a Thanksgiving themed one. So pick this up now so you have one ready. I really enjoyed a couple years ago doing a November daily, which is the same thing as a December daily. If you think about all the things that you do in the around this time, it doesn't actually have to be November. It could be October, November, it's fall time was working with ink in my printer. <laughs> That's why my hands are yellow. Anyway, so I recorded things like playing in the leaves with my kids, going to the apple orchard, things like that. There's buttons, cute little image, it's fabric covered. It has this big jeweled closure that just wraps around. Lots of room that this could expand. So fabric covered envelope, very nice. There's a little autumn um, poem there, papers. So we might be looking forward to springtime, but anymore you have to shop a season ahead. Well, I guess this is two seasons ahead, but I also do not charge very much uh, this time of year for these type of journals. So it will definitely save you money. A journal like this listed at the beginning of October, or end of September would definitely go for more than it does in March. So definitely want to get your hands on it. I love the stitching around the edges. Beautiful papers. I made a couple, I think I only made like two um, fall or Thanksgiving theme journals for last year and I had so much fun doing that. So it's just one of my favorite times of year for sure. Looks like a little, a little adorable fabric booklet. That is super, super cute. So there's a lot of pages in here. I think that you could document your entire fall. Like you could, you could start sometime in September when you start feeling it. And then you could go all the way 
through the month of November and you would have plenty of room. So this is the fall themed journal. All right, look at this one. It feels really, really, really good in my hand. pretty simple one and the cover has been covered and sealed with a napkin. There's a little envelope there. So lots of space to make it your own, but still cute little things like these little fairy cards and fairy booklets. Beautiful decoupage tag. That is really pretty. more little journal cards more journal cards here we have stenciling these are fun for photos the little flips so essentially this journal has been started for you and you can continue on there's a lot of space here. It's like the journal hasn't quite decided what it is going to be yet, and that is your job. So that is a lot of fun for a personal journal because you can just, what I like to do with my personal journals, I don't really go in order. I kind of flip open when I have a piece of ephemera or something I wanna put in it, I grab my journal, I flip open, I find a place and put it there. And I kind of got that idea from Johanna, if you've watched her channel. And um, I used to think I had to do everything in order and if I didn't have the right page for it, it would bother me. And now I've just kind of loosened up. It's been really cathartic for me, really good for me to just be creative and you don't have to be creative in a linear way. So that is what this journal is perfect for. We have more very interesting it looks like a box with a journal in it so let us see all right you'll hear my boys in the background that Saturday like I've said in the other videos they're playing oh my this would be beautiful for a baby gift God could not be everywhere so he created mothers there's a heart doily lace layering it's covered in this beautiful linen it looks like a beautiful, beautiful baby gift. Hand, hardcover. She's a digital kit Mother's Day by Studio 28E. And that is uh, Sherry. Sherry and I go way back in the junk journal <laughs> community. Back before junk journals were super popular. Oh, how beautiful would this be for a Mother's Day gift since... Mother's Day is coming up. You could either record pictures and memories of your own childhood and give it to your mother. You could give it blank as a gift to a new mother, maybe in your church or a niece or a daughter, or maybe you have baby pictures, or maybe you're about to have a baby and this would be a perfect place. She's also kept it. There are little boys and little girls in here. So it could, I mean, here's pink, but um, there's also blues. So I really think that it could go either way for a boy or a girl. And anything, if anything is too feminine and you have a little boy, um, like if this is too pink, you could always cover it with something or add some blues on top of it. See, this would be perfect for a little boy picture. You have journaling spaces. This is totally, totally gorgeous. What a lovely gift. And then you have it in this box that it perfectly fits in so it is protected you have memories in it and it I just think it is so amazing so wow all right let's get that closed all right next oh I like this one so here's a little writer there we have a, a really pretty charm let me see if I can get a little closer to the camera so you can see the charm it says delight, it's fabric covered, pretty chunky. All right, let's see. 
Ephemera's Vintage Garden Lady Eleanor Digital Kit was uh, are a lot of the pages in here. So that is great. Oh, that is so pretty. I like this journal. Definitely my style. I have only ever bought one thing from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. It was some um, journal cards, some poppy postcard journal cards that I love them, but I haven't ever, this is just beautiful. I'll have to buy some more of her stuff. I know she'd been running a sale. Uh, it came up on Etsy, but I um, didn't need to buy a new kit because I have kits I'm working with, but um, oh, that's beautiful. Sometimes you just have to buy it when it's on sale so that you have it when you want it because you go back and it's not on sale anymore. Another shop that I recently found on Etsy that I've been enjoying is Antique Papery and she will run sales and a while ago she was running sales on her paper packs for a dollar and I bought eight of, uh, well this is embossed and inked. Um, I bought eight different items and now I don't know if she does right now, but I know last week at least she had her like junk journal kits that were um, like on sale for a dollar. And I mean, that's crazy. That's a crazy price. So I've only printed one of the paper pads. I didn't buy any of the junk journal kits because I had bought a bunch of things from her and I wanted to use a few before I bought more. And I printed out one of her kits and um, using it in one of the pink junk journals I keep talking about. Four of them are done, so you should see them pretty soon. I'm just starting a cat-themed pink one using Tsunami Rose designs. I just love the composition of her pages. It kind of reminds me of what I try to do with my digitals. Of course, Ephemera's Vintage Design, she's been doing it a lot longer than I have. In fact, her one of her junk journal flip-throughs was my first introduction to junk journals, and I was in awe. I didn't know why I was so drawn to it because it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me back at the time. But now I know it was meant to be. Look at how pretty to have a doily for a pocket in the back. So here's Delight. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is huge. Look at this one. Whoo, chunky one. So here's the charm see that there's some little dangles on the front all right I can get into this my fingers don't like to work how pretty that layering mm. fabric cover hard cover all right she used Grandmother's Roses Digital Kit by TLC Creations. I love Paulette's kit. Paulette and I chat from time to time, and she has been so kind to give me many of her digital kits. She has such a signature look. I love to see what she comes up with. She inspires me so many times, so I love seeing her work in other people's journals as well. See a little bit of a hint of doily there. So this is a big long book. I'm gonna try to go fairly quickly. I think there's one more journal in the box. So this will be the end of the Marketplace Marathon for today. Don't worry, there's plenty more to come next week. I will um, take tomorrow off being Sunday. And when I take a day or a couple days off of work, I pretty much just take it off of the things I need to do, like ship orders or work in the marketplace or whatever. I will still, if I feel crafty, I will, you know, play with digitals or I'll work on the journal or just whatever I want to do. Um, because most days I have things I need to do. Like when I came in here, I was printing. My printers were all going, <laughs> printing orders. So, very, I, I just love this kit. And then it looks like she has some scrapbook paper, beautiful stamping and coffee dyeing, lots of pages, the composition of them. 
her placement of them are beautiful, just beautiful. Little rose quotes, a little dress that she made. I really like this one a lot, it's so pretty. My grandmother's name was Rose too, so that kind of makes me happy. These clear sleeves, they're wonderful for slipping a photo in and protecting them, especially if you have like an older vintage photo of your grandma that maybe you want to protect. So this is a big journal and it is totally beautiful. So thank you, Darlene, for sending us more of your beauties. I hope you're working away at the next batch because I can't wait to see them. I am inspired every time I see your journals to create more beautiful ones myself. I will see all of you um, in the next video, which will probably be sometime on Monday or Tuesday, depending upon how um, my weekend, the rest of my weekend goes. I love each and every one of you. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're wondering, yes, there was one more journal that I forgot. So here it is. This is still from Darlene. Um, look at that beautiful little charm. I'm going to go quickly through this. I had already ended the video and then there was one more in there. So she says, this is the Wings for Jonathan kit from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. So beautiful, definitely butterfly themed. It looks like there's wallpaper in here. Ooh, so pretty. This is a big journal. There is a lot in here. I love the embossed paper. I need to do more of that myself. I just bought some new embossing folders. It's just taking the time to sit down and emboss. It's another thing. I did take um, about an hour this week and use my die cutting machine. Die cut several things and I've been using them throughout the week. So I need to start doing that every week. Just grab some scraps, do a little so beautiful. I love the color scheme on this. Little envelope, different types of papers, definitely special. I love butterflies. Oops, oh, sorry for hitting the camera. in the back. So there's this one too. Have a lovely day. See you all later.